Welcome back to day two of the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. We've got the first of our cars coming up here now. So all of the teams have packed up from their campsite and at eight o'clock this morning, they were all allowed to leave from exactly the spot they stopped at five o'clock last night. Today, a lot of the teams are gonna show exactly where they're at, but don't forget, this is not just a race to get across the finish line first. For many teams, this is a race of innovation and sustainability. Anyone that can travel the 3,000 kilometers is a winner. And that's Michigan, the American team who were first away this morning. Oh, and incredibly close behind, it looks like Twente. Here's some of the trucks they have to contend with. Watch the trucks as they go over the line here. That will give you an idea of what the cars have to deal with. Quite often those road trains, which are three and four trailers long, overtake the world solar cars. Having said that, on occasion, sometimes the world solar cars overtake the road trains. It is wild out here. So make no bones about it, there's a big day ahead. As I said, some teams are out to try and be the first to Adelaide. But for every team, if they can travel 3,000 kilometres with a car that's been built by their team, by their university, with their passion, believe me, they're all winners. Okay, we're here in Tennant Creek. This is the next control spot. We are in the middle of nowhere, about a thousand kilometres south of Darwin. When they start pulling into the control zone, it's going to be a hive of activity. A lot of the teams are very, very close, so they'll pull in soon after each other. Also, the thing to know is they can get penalties if they speed or if they cross on double white lines, which is illegal, of course, they will get a penalty, which can be a 10 minute penalty, and they'll have to wait at this control zone. Michael, mate, hey again, couldn't yeah. help but notice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael, who's one of Bridgestone's engineers. Couldn't uh, couldn't help but notice you're getting a chance to catch up with one of the teams and, and check out the Bridgestone tyres. Now, I know one thing, Bridgestone have a, a real focus uh, on youth, on technology and sustainability. Um, I mean, that's on display here, isn't it? Yeah, and luckily for us, I mean, uh, all of those kind of aspects have been put into one big bundle for us here, and yeah, it's just fantastic to see. Mate, thanks for joining us. I know you're desperate to go and see more cars. I won't hold you up any longer. Yes, thank thanks for your time, mate. Okay, behind us is the team from Kojakuen University from Japan, and they have done an amazing job. At the moment, they are first in cruiser class. They're currently beating last year's winners. They're another team running the Bridgestone tyre, and this car is a brand new car, and they have come leaps and bounds since two years ago. They're doing an amazing job. We are at Barra Creek. This is the fourth control stop out of a total of nine across the entire route. Currently, we're about 1,200 k's, a touch over that south of Darwin where it all began. Teams here are stopping here. Some teams are already an hour in front of us. Having said that, many teams are hours behind us. The teams have roughly 40 minutes now until it hits five o'clock where, of course, they must stop wherever they are and camp on the side of the road. It's been clear skies today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> 